What's up everyone, my name is Alex Kouras and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five healthy hair tips for men. So usually when I'm taking a look at the comment section on my YouTube videos, I see some of these comments that are particularly deemed towards my hair. And one that sticks out the most is one that's kind of like, this guy chose the right parents. Ultimately, what this means is that I have pretty good genetics that give me nice hair, but that doesn't discredit the fact that I actually do things on a day-to-day -day basis to take care of my hair, to keep it looking as nice as it could be. And so without any further ado, the first tip is going to be to make sure sure you guys are not taking blistering hot showers. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to boil my hair to the point where it's damaged and dry because I just want to take really hot showers because it feels good. And not only does it mess up your hair when you use really hot showers, but it also damages your skin as well. So what I like to do is take showers with lukewarm water because it feels good and it feels a lot more natural to the body. I don't take cold showers because then you get cold. I don't take hot showers because it's really not good for your skin and for your hair. So I take something that feels good, that feels relaxing, which is usually lukewarm water. The second healthy hair tip that I have for you guys is going to be to make sure you guys aren't shampooing your hair every single day. Where I've talked to you about my skin conditions, I've got dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, I've got red scaly marks all over my head, I've got dandruff on the top, but over the past couple of years, I've been able to control this by not shampooing every single day. I actually realized that shampooing every day made my hair fall out a lot more frequently than it actually should. So what I always do, and what I've started to do, is alternate with my shampoos, and shampoo roughly two to four times per week, and then usually I'll condition on those days that I'm shampooing if I feel like it's necessary, if I feel like my hair is drier than usual. I feel like if you work in a certain field where you get dirty constantly, I feel like at that point it might be okay to clean your hair more so than not. But if you guys work from home or you work in an office, you're not really exposed to the outside world too much, shampooing your hair every single day is just really overdoing it and your hair doesn't need those chemicals goals in it all the time. So really limit yourself to shampooing two to four times per week. So the third tip, I might get some heat from you guys in the comment section, but the third tip is going to be to not use a blow dryer to style your hair. And the reason why this is a big tip for me, and it kind of goes with the first one, okay? Overheating your hair is going to damage and dry out your hair. Blow drying, adding that really hot heat to your hair to style it or to straighten it, whatever you're gonna do with the blow dryer, it really damages your hair. And to be honest, I don't wanna put some type of chemicals or spray in my hair, heat protectant in my hair, to make me use a blow dryer to then style it. It's too much work, it's too much of a hassle, and I don't wanna go through the process of doing all of that just to style my hair. And I've mentioned this before in a previous video, so I'll leave that in the card section above. What I do to style my hair and avoid using a blow dryer, okay, maybe not now because my hair's short, but when I had longer hair, I never used a blow dryer a single day because I don't wanna damage my hair with the heat. So what I do is I sleep with my hair completely down, and then when I wake up in the morning, I push it up and over to the side that I want to push it to. And this gives it that added volume because when I'm sleeping, my hair is completely down going in its natural direction. But when I wake up eight to nine hours later, I'm pushing it up and over, giving it that volume and pushing the hair in the opposite direction that it naturally grows in. So it naturally grows down and then I sleep for eight to nine hours and then push it up and it gives it that natural volume that you would see with a blow dryer. And then on top of that, you can use a clay hair styling product, which isn't gonna have harsh chemicals in it like alcohol, like you'll see in most products at Target or Walgreens or Walmart. These types of alcohol hair products like gels and waxes and so forth, petroleum based products, they're not gonna be good for your hair. I recommend some type of clay hair product. And always, always, always read the ingredients when you're buying a hair product. So definitely, I would not recommend you guys using a blow dryer. Even if you're gonna use a heat protectant, I don't wanna be anywhere near heat on my hair because I wanna make sure my hair is as healthy as possible. No heat protectants, no blow dryer. Just sleep with my hair down and push it up in the morning and style it with a quality product that doesn't have alcohol in it. The fourth healthy hair tip is gonna be to make sure you guys are massaging your scalp 
when you're taking your showers. We all know how good a massage feels, whether it's on our shoulders, whether it's on our back, the feeling, the stimulation that you feel vibrating up your spine and your CNS, your central nervous system, up to your head, up to your back, everywhere on your spine, you just feel this great sensation when you're getting massages. It's no different for your scalp. So you wanna do this for your scalp as well because that same exact stimulation you get from the back rubs, you're gonna be feeling that exact same thing on your head. And we all know it feels good when you get massages. It doesn't feel bad when you get massages. So that stimulation, that extra energy, the vibrations you feel in your scalp, it's gonna help give your scalp and give your hair that extra energy to really keep it strong. So make sure you guys are massaging your scalp. Definitely don't miss out on this one. The fifth and final healthy hair tip I wanna share with you guys is gonna be to stay hydrated and drink plenty of water throughout the day. Drinking water is the key to life and it is absolutely essential. So here's a fun fact for you guys. Did you know that you can go up to two months without eating any food while still Still staying hydrated and drinking water on a daily basis but if you cut out water completely you can probably barely push past one week to live so drinking water is extremely extremely essential to keeping your body hydrated from your your muscles from your skin to your nails all the way to your scalp. Everything inside and outside your body needs water. So instead of pushing for that soda, instead of pushing for that iced tea, opt for the water and really hydrate your body and give it what it needs to stay healthy. And so those are gonna be the top five tips to give you guys healthy hair. But I'm feeling a little nice today, so I wanna share with you guys this bonus tip, which is to try not to bleach your hair or dye your hair. So this one's a little bit controversial, and I know a lot of guys do it because it looks cool and to be honest I plan on doing it at some point in the future I know this tip can be a little bit controversial and I'm a little bit biased in a way because I want to do this and I want to try it out because I've never dyed my hair at all I want to give it a shot as well sometime in the future because it does look cool but I do want to share with you guys and I'm sure you guys might know this already but dyeing your hair has so many harsh chemicals in it chemically changing the color of your hair isn't a healthy thing so if you are gonna dye your hair, just know that you run the risk of messing up the health of your hair. Even though it looks really, really cool, and it's definitely something you know most people should try out at least once or twice in their lifetime, it will have an impact on your hair's health, so just take that with a grain of salt. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be the top five tips plus the bonus tip on how you guys can get healthy hair. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this video and if you have any other tips that you think other people in the comment section can find value in as well. If you guys did like this video, make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys click on that subscribe button down below and click on the post notifications as well to never miss a new video. If any of you guys are interested in learning how to cut your own hair and save yourself time and money, just like I do with my self haircuts, make sure you guys check out my self haircut course using the first link at the top of the description. Also you guys, I created a second YouTube channel. I'll leave it linked in the card section above as well, where I'm gonna be talking mainly about real estate, finances and news. As you guys know, I'm also a real estate agent here in Miami, Florida. And so I wanna talk about all of those things as well on that channel because I know in this channel, it's strictly around hair and men's grooming. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.